सो मेडिकली इम्पॉर्टेंट ग्राम पॉजिटिव कॉक्साई इंक्लूड स्टेफ्लोकोकस स्पीशीज एंड देन वी हैव स्टेप्टोकोकस स्पीशीज ना स्टेफ्लोकोकस स्पीशीज हैव ग्रेप्स शेप्ड क्लस्टर अरेंजमेंट स्टेप्टोकोकस हैव चेन लाइक अरेंजमेंट नाउ यू कैन सी द ग्रेप शेप अरेंजमेंट ऑफ स्टेफ्लोकोकस एंड स्टेप्टोकोकस हैव अ चेन लाइक अरेंजमेंट Additionally, you should know that Staphylococcus produces catalase enzyme, so it's catalase positive. Staphylococcus does not produce catalase; it is catalase negative. So the key differences are: Staphylococcus has grape-shaped cluster arrangement, whereas Staphylococcus has chain-like arrangement. Additionally, Staphylococcus is catalase positive; it produces catalase enzyme. Staphylococcus does not produce catalase enzyme. Then we have Staphylococcus. having three important medical categories and we have staph aureus staph epidermis and we have staph saprophyticus now we know that we have to differentiate the three of them staph aureus is coagulase positive it produces coagulase enzyme staph epidermis and saprophyticus both are coagulase negative they do not produce the coagulase enzyme so this is how you differentiate between three of them coagulase positive and coagulase negative then additionally you should know staph epidermis saprophyticus both are coagulase negative they are differentiated on the basis of novobuccin sensitivity staph epidermis being the novobuccin sensitive and staph saprophyticus is novobuccin resistant additionally you should know that staph aureus produces an important pigment which is known as staphylaxanthin it gives yellow green color to the colonies of staph aureus so to summarize staph aureus is coagulase positive and the epidermis and saprophyticus are coagulase negative additionally staph epidermis saprophyticus both coagulase negative can be differentiated on the basis of novobuccin sensitivity now we will discuss the important sites of staphylococcus we have staph aureus epidermis and staph saprophyticus staph aureus important site is nose mainly secondly it is also present in the vagina in almost 5% of the females then we have staph epidermis it's present mainly in the skin then staph saprophyticus mainly in the genital tracts of young females so to summarize staph aureus is present mainly in the nose or vagina in 5% females staph epidermis is present in the skin where staph saprophyticus is present in the genital tracts of young females these sites are very important regarding the pathogenesis of each of the organism then we have mechanism of pathogenesis first we will discuss the staph aureus staph aureus has two mechanism one is toxigenic and second is pyogenic so what do you mean by the word toxigenic toxigenic mean staph aureus can produce exotoxins what are the exotoxins produced by staph aureus one is the enterotoxin and another is toxic shock syndrome toxin okay so the enterotoxin the first exotoxin produced by the staph aureus is responsible for causing vomiting and diarrhea okay so enterotoxin causes vomiting and diarrhea then another we have toxic shock syndrome toxin what are the features of this toxic shock syndrome toxin basically causes toxic shock syndrome okay what is toxic shock syndrome it is characterized by high fever low bp which is hypertension plus it can cause skin rashes then we have enterotoxin pathogenesis cause so enterotoxin is basically caused by improper food storage okay so improper food storage may cause enterotoxin pathogenicity so how will you prevent you prevent by refrigerating the food okay you will refrigerate the food well regarding t sst causes nasal and vaginal tampons use and how you will prevent you will simply reduce the time of tampon use since nasal cavity and vagina are the common sites of staph aureus so therefore nasal and vaginal tampon use predisposes to toxic shock syndrome and you will reduce the time of tampon use to prevent the condition and enterotoxin was causing vomiting and diarrhea we discussed so the two important toxin produced by staph aureus then we have pyogenic infection caused by staph aureus this includes 
local abscess and disseminated local abscess means it causes infection of the skin locally and how can you prevent the local abscess it's prevented by frequent hand washing can prevent the pyogenic infection of staphylococcus dissemination infection is commonly caused by iv drug abuse okay so how will you prevent you will reduce the iv drug abuse so dissemination infection basically mean infection spreads in the blood to the multiple organ causing sepsis okay so this is commonly seen in iv drug abuse and you will reduce the iv drug abuse now we will discuss the staphylococcus and saprophyticus pathogenesis remember both of them do not produce the, any exotoxin unlike staphylococcus so staphylococcus produces exotoxin but staphylococcus and saprophyticus do not produce exotoxin so the only pathogenesis is pyogenic infection in case of epidermis and saprophyticus species so staphylococcus first we will discuss and secondly we have staph saprophyticus so in case of staph epidermis we have infections of the iv catheter sites and infection of prostatic implants for example heart valves so staph epidermis causes infection of iv catheter sites and prostatic implants for example heart valves will be infected in case of saprophyticus it causes uti in females okay urinary tract infections in females are caused by staph saprophyticus and predisposing factor for staph saprophyticus is sexual activity how will you prevent staph epidermis which is commonly present on the skin you can prevent it by proper hand washing and also removing iv catheter promptly because long stay of the catheter can cause infection so to summarize we can say that staph epidermis is causing infection of the iv catheter site and prostatic implants for example heart valve staph saprophyticus is causing infection of urinary tracts in the young females we also remembered we said staph epidermis is present in the skin so from the skin in case of iv catheter it can go deep into the blood and then it can cause infection of these prostatic implants and catheter sites another thing is regarding saprophyticus we said that its common site is urogenital tract so definitely it can cause you it can sense and cause uti in females